covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Pioneering African-American NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson has passed away. I want to get into a little bit about her story. And as Johnson calculated, she calculated the rocket trajectories and Earth orbits for NASA's early space missions. She was portrayed in the 2016 Oscar-nominated film Hidden Figures, and the film tells the story of an African-American woman whose math skills uh, helped to put U.S. astronauts John Glenn into orbit around the Earth in 1962. Miss Johnston uh, verified the calculations made by new electronic computers before his flight. Imagine that. Computers yeah. were brand new at the time. So they were like, human, check yes. this data. So we had to like verify that data. And there she was verifying it, making sure that the math was correct from this new fandangled device, right? <laughs> Ms. Johnston, uh, Ms. Johnson, pardon me, had previously calculated the trajectories for the space flight of Alan Shepard, uh, the first American in space. Um, and um, such was her skill and reputation that Glenn had asked her specifically to be a part of his mission and refused to fly unless she verified the calculations. She also helped to calculate the trajectory from uh, the 1969 Apollo 11 flight to the moon. Now, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein describes Miss Johnson as a leader from NASA's pioneering days. He says Miss Johnson helped our um, helped our nation enlarge the frontiers of space, even as she made huge strides that also opened doors for women and people of color in the universal human quest to explore space. Her dedication and skill as a mathematician helped put humans on the moon, and before that made it possible for our astronauts to take the first steps in space that we are now following on a journey to Mars here in 2020. Miss Johnson was born in a small town in West Virginia in 1918. She excelled academically. She graduated from high school at just 14 years old and from university at 18. NASA notes that her academic achievements were partially uh, were particularly, pardon me, impressive, quote, in an era when school for African Americans normally stopped at eighth grade for those who could indulge that luxury. To think of education as a luxury at that time. Just an astonishing woman. After working as a teacher and being a stay-at-home mom, Miss Johnson began working for NASA's predecessor, the National Advisory Committee for a uh, Aeronomics. Pardon me. Uh, they called it NACA at the time. In, uh, she started working there in 1953. Johnson died at a retirement home in Newport, February 24th, at the age of 101 lived a long life. Uh, Bridenstine described her as, quote, an American hero. And he stated that her pioneering legacy will never be forgotten.